Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create light leaks in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it looked a little something like this. You'll notice that if you look in the edges, there's some color being sort of leaked through as we go through. So you have this sort of effect where it looks like some of the light is actually bleeding in through the edges. This is usually created manually or with After Effects, but today I'm gonna be showing you how to create it in Premiere Pro. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is just create myself a new sequence. So file new and then sequence gonna click OK and then we're gonna drag in our footage this is actually a pretty simple effect to accomplish all we need to do is after we have dragged in our footage we need to duplicate it to do that hold the alt key on your keyboard click and drag up that will go ahead and create yourself a exact duplicate of the piece of footage below without copying the audio with it I'm gonna go ahead and mute this audio track so we don't have to listen to it just the sound of a bus going by now that we have the top audio track, we're going to add a few different effects to this. The first one we're going to add is going to be the color eye or the eyedropper fill. So if you search for eye, it's the first one that comes up under video effects, generate, and then eyedropper fill. We're going to click on eyedropper fill and drag it onto the top one. What does this do? Well, it takes the center pixels and it averages them a little bit, and then it creates a fill based on those center pixels. Well, you'll notice that as we scroll through, it's going to the video is going to scroll through. So as the video changes, the eyedropper changes as well. And this gives us the basis of our effect. If we just went up to here and made our blending mode to screen, we have sort of the undertone of like what we want to accomplish with this effect. However, we want something a little bit more maybe like focused and not so like reactive on the background. This looks kind of cool, but we want something just a little bit farther. So the next effect we're going to add is something called the four color gradient. We're going to click on this and drag it onto this footage. And now you'll notice that we have that background, that background that's still changing colors back there. But what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and take this one and we are going to make its blending mold mul multiply. And with that, what we have is this effect where we have both the background changing with the coloring. You can see how the opacity is going up and the coloring is sort of changing around uh, just a little bit with what's going on in the background. And we have these sort of color flares. Now, we need to sort of work with animating them to make them look a little bit sort of uh, more fun and a little bit more creative. The first thing you can do is you can actually use these color pickers to sort of choose something that's a little bit closer. So like, let's go with this color right here. We can choose this. And you'll notice that the problem is right now our color picker is sort of blocked by this eyedropper. So we can go ahead and turn that off for just a second as we choose these different colors. So we're going to try to choose some colors from the scene here in the respective quadrants. And the reason that we want to do this is it's just going to make our scene look a little bit more um, sort of realistic and grab the sort of color palette that's working with the current scene. So let's grab this one as well. And now we can go ahead and turn the eyedropper back on. And now what we have is just some sort of more realistic colors, you would say. And of course, we can go make it go a little wild, maybe like, a, let's grab this one that's darker that might not have something. And we can make it go like maybe an intense sort of yellow up there to sort of add a little yellow burst. And then maybe this one right here, we can go maybe a little bit of a sort of a burst of red down there. Or let's, let's make this one the burst of red down here. And then we'll make this one sort of go maybe towards a, a, a green maybe. Yeah, that works. Uh, or we can go and sort of make this one more basic. Yeah, that looks kind of good. So sort of having them offset like that. But anyway, what this does is it allows you to sort of control your light leaks in a way that, you know, works with the footage a little bit. And then the opacity is working off from the eyedropper fill in the background. Now we're going to go into our transform or we're going to actually search for the effect transform. And we're going to click on that and drag it onto this top piece as well. Once we get down to the bottom here, what we want to do is we want to rotate this. And you'll notice that if we rotate it right off the bat, we have these problems on the edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this in just enough so that it covers the entirety of it. Make sure that you uh, spin this around and you can spin it anyway and you don't have anything like that down there in the bottom right. So just a little bit extra scale, 200 there will probably work fine. And now what we have, oh, there's still a touch right there, so we'll go a little farther. Now what we have is the ability to take these colors and sort of spin them around the edges like so. So we kind of have our color palette down. We kind of have the background of how we want it to look. So let's add that sort of fun effect with the colors rotating. So we're going to go to the very beginning of our clip. We're going to go to rotation. We can also um, animate the colors as well as they move through. So let's animate the colors. We can animate the points. We can do a lot of fun stuff with this. So we're then going to move forward. 
and let's just rotate this a few times. Let's say we want it to rotate four times by the time we get here, move forward some more, and then maybe like unrotate it back the other direction. And now we have these sort of colors that are swirling a little bit and that are sort of reacting to the background as well. And then we can go and we can adjust. Maybe they're a little bit intense at some places, so we can take the opacity and drop, uh, or the opacity of the entire clip up here, drop that down just a little bit, give it a little more breathing room. And then let's go ahead and jump back to the beginning here. And let's change some colors as we work through. There's no real, this is like sort of getting into the artistic side. There's nothing really uh, right or wrong about this process now. So let's go in here and let's say that over time we want this color to sort of go from this natural color to maybe we want it to sort of go into a yellow. Maybe this yellow we want to go maybe back towards or maybe towards like a red. Maybe we want this red to go towards a purple and we want this color four to stay the same or something like that. So now as it goes through, you can see that these lights are sort of changing. They're making interesting colors and it's just making it sort of overall a little bit more fun, enjoyable to watch. And it's got like sort of that artistic feel to it. That is really it on the tutorial. Um, this is how you like, After Effects has a, a like fractal noise that you can use and you know, if you could dismount your lens a little bit and sort of create these effects. But I think that this captures some of the essence of the effect quite well. And you have to stack a couple of effects on top of each other, but this actually helps in the fact that you have so many different controls over here that you can manipulate this and create whatever light leak effect that you want to create. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go on them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go to that subscribe button, make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.